Hello again, this is Brent, and I'm going to show you how to use the farm map to visualize and organize your fields in the Trimble Egg software. Please note that if you do not currently have any fields in your profile, we recommend you watch our previous video, Adding Fields and Boundaries, before continuing. Over the course of this video, we're going to cover how to manage your fields and crops through the farm map, how to navigate your farm map, and how to print a farm map. So let's jump in. After logging into your Trimble Egg software, click on the farm map link from the main dashboard. At any point during your software session, you can also access the farm map by going to the fields tab and farm map. Once the farm map opens, you will see the map on the right hand side and the field list on the left hand side. We're going to first take a look at the field list. At the top, you have three options as to how to view your field list. View by crop, view by client and farm, and view by field. For the most part, it's personal preference as to how you view your field. However, there are a few advantages to viewing by crop, but we'll get into that in just a moment. Under each view, you have the option to search for a field by typing in a name. For those of you managing larger farming operations, this can help you locate a desired field much quicker. Once you've found the desired field, you can click on it to make the map zoom to that field boundary. Please note, you must have a boundary loaded for the field for this feature to work. In all views, if you look at the right hand side of the field name, there are three dots. If you click here, it will bring you directly to the field manager section where you can make more detailed changes to the field data if desired. For the client farm and field views, if there is a plus symbol to the right side of the field name, it means the field has no crop assigned to it yet. You can click the plus symbol to add a crop type to that field. While under the crop view, a combined list of all fields with no crops assigned can be found under the unassigned dropdown. As mentioned previously, here are the few additional features that can help you manage fields by crop types. While still under crop view, start by left clicking on one of the crop symbols. Please note you must have a crop already assigned to at least one field for the symbol to show up. The change color option allows you to change the boundary color for the crop type. Just select the desired color, then click change color or click outside the color selection tool to close the selection box. The assign crop to field is a great tool that will allow you to assign a crop type to multiple fields by clicking their boundaries. First click assign crop to fields. Locate the desired fields. Click on each boundary you want to assign the crop type to. Click Save at the top, and those fields will now have the crop type assigned to them. Before moving on to the farm map, there's just a few other items to touch on. First, the default farm map setting will show all field boundaries from all the crop years you have in the software. If you would like to just view the fields from that year, just put a check in the box here, right beside, in our case, only 2018 fields. Secondly, to the right of the view tabs, you have the manage dropdown button. This dropdown allows you to add new client, farm, field, and crop season on the fly. It also has the option to bulk import field boundaries from a single shape file. Now, let's jump over and see what the map features look like. First, depending on how your fields are spread out geographically, you might see these white circles with a number in it. 
That number means that at that zoom level, there are that many fields in the general area. Once you zoom into where the number is, you'll start noticing your fields will eventually start showing up. In my case, you can see I have many fields all over North and South America, but once I zoom in closer, they start appearing. There are also navigation tools that are in the mapping area for your convenience. The plus and minus will zoom in and out. The box will make the map go full screen. And the flag at the bottom corner allows you to switch from satellite to road maps. The last feature in the mapping area is the print map button in the top right corner. Once you click it, a new screen will pop up, allowing you to customize some map title and settings and select the exact fields you want to include in the map. Once you click Generate Farm Map, a preview of your farm map will load in a new window. Click Select Area to choose the map area you want printed. Choose your map size and whether or not you want a legend. Click Print to PDF to generate the PDF link. And you can either right click the link, select Save Link As to save the PDF directly to your computer, or just click the link and open the PDF in a new window.